Hi guys, it's Caitlin, and we are back with our Rags to Riches challenge. Today is episode two. I think our goals are going to be mainly to find a partner and obviously make money because as I was editing last week's video, I was like, this is like a hard challenge. Like she's really broke. So we definitely got to get our hustle on. We're going to cook more food. Maybe we should even get a job. I don't really know. But I am thinking if we get married, we're going to get the partner's money. Not that that's the goal. The goal is to become the home chef hustle maker person. So it's still early in the challenge. I could be a little like unsure, right? Now the video setup is a little bit different today. I am trying some new things. Instead of the green screen, we have a white sheet back. <laughs> I don't know why I have an LED light over there and it's still not bright enough to use the green screen. And it's like kind of annoying. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, so let's get into the game. Wait, what did that say? Once a lingering ghost is haunting the unit, call the property owner to sort out the problem or attempt to get rid of the ghost yourself. Is there a ghost here? Oh, <laughs> the medic. Oh, there's a ghost. Whoa, Felix. I don't like that. He like broke into my house. It's not like I know him. That's weird. I'm going to get rid of that mannequin. That freaked me out. Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. Oh, it literally has it as an event. I've never had this. I haven't played as a tenant that much. So we can either exercise the ghost or confront the ghost. I mean, I don't really think that's my responsibility, personally. Um, let's check, what food do we have here? We still have a decent amount of food left that we could probably like just have a food sale this morning. Also, I forgot we have to do the fourth autograph, so I thought I would just put it over my sink. Kind of like aspirational, like a vision board when I'm cooking and cleaning. I'll be like, oh, that's my girl. Like, I don't know. <gasps> He's in the house. I, I don't know. Confront. Why can't I hear my game? Flirt with Felix. You did see that I did not do that myself. <laughs> this is autonomous. Oh my god. I was just joking. I, <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, I wonder if he has any money. Like, if he would be, like, a good spouse. Why did they do that right away? without knowing each other first like we didn't do the introduction or anything should we just flirt with him more because maybe he'll do the dishes what's the broken magnet mean do we have bad like they're flirting all on their own do they have a really good connection like i don't know what the broken magnet means bad compatibility perceived as very attractive really <laughs> okay that was, this was really the last thing I was expecting today, but I did say I wanted to find a partner. I just, I don't know if I should marry a ghost, but she does like him, even though they have bad compatibility. I don't know. I guess we'll just learn a little more about him. You know, I'm open. I can ask him about his romantic interests. Why don't we just get to know? See, that's why I don't like him. He's haunting the, the box. I'm trying to figure stuff out right now. He's dead. Okay. Well, oh good. She's going to go do the laundry. What happens, though, if you exercise the ghost? Like, I thought you just, like, exercise demons or something. Like, I don't know. So since the dumpster's full, I'm thinking we'll dive for deals and see what we can find. That's how we'll start the day. And then maybe we'll try to flirt a little more with Felix or get to know him. We got a toilet. A haunted mansion snow globe. That is so fitting. And I've actually never seen this. Wait, I'm going to put it in the house really quick. Oh my god, he's actually cleaning the counter. Maybe we will marry him. Let me just put it next to my coffee rings. Okay. Ooh, I like that. I think it's a sign. The ghost is in the house. She's really attracted to him. He cleaned the counter and we found the haunted mansion snow globe. I don't think we should ignore signs from the universe. I like that snow globe. And I think I like Felix. He's kind of like creepy old man vibes a little bit, but he is an adult, so that's okay. What is she uncomfortable? Oh, from dumpster diving. I mean, I would imagine, but you know, we find good things in the dumpster. I'm not going to ignore it. Oh, the pit beast. I just heard about him the other day. Yeah. Okay. Is that like a cooking club? 
upper crust. It makes me think it's a cooking club. I didn't think I was going to go there now. I've just been jumping around in the dumpster in my pajamas. Plus, I got a man at home. Is she pregnant? All right, well, at least we found some money. I think it is a food club, so this could be good for us. And I ate another cupcake that I shouldn't have. Girl, if you pee yourself here again in public, I swear. Can I come in? Because I really need to go to the bathroom. Even though I keep eating vanilla cupcakes that are making me go to the bathroom, but... Okay. No! No, this is... This is horrible. Clara's gonna see that I peed on her floor and all of these new friends I was trying to make. I gotta avoid the situation. Honestly, I don't think we should mop. I think we should get cleaned up really quickly because if someone sees me all dirty and then they're like, what's this pee on the floor? They're obviously gonna know it's me. So I gotta get cleaned up, then I'll mop it. Stop eating the cupcakes. <laughs> I'm getting rid of those cupcakes right now. Garbage. This is stressful. I'm gonna come and mop that up because the daughter saw him, so she'll definitely rat me out. Are we good? The whole family? Okay. This poor woman is hosting the event and she's not here. I'll go talk to her because I don't, I don't know what, really what we're supposed to do here, so I'll just get to know her. What? You're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society, but we don't care about all that. We value results. You're a criminal at heart. I can see that in you, so I'll extend you an offer. I really don't know why this would be offered to me. I don't think I've done anything all that bad. Do I want to be a criminal? I don't know what to do. I really, I was thinking of getting another career to go along with the home chef, but I don't know if I want to be a criminal. Should I just try it? I mean, what's the harm, right? I don't know. But I saw the pay online. When I Googled it, it said the pay was like 30 to an hour, and that kind of just pulled me in. <sighs> well, anyway, um, what is happening? Everybody wants me. Okay, this better be food you can eat. I feel kind of bad that I rejected her because I was joking around last time when she was at the food stand and she was like standing near me. I was joking that like she was interested and she actually is, but I am clearly hung up on Felix the ghost, so I guess I didn't like that. What an awkward day for me, like I peed myself, here we bloat again. Oh, everybody's cooking. What if I pack into a sack lunch and then put that in my fridge at home and then sell it? Because it's an excellent quality meal. Jazz is starting to like weird me out a little. Like why is she kind of sus? I don't know. Unscrupulous friends. Jazz has like a really bad impression of me. I mean, okay, but like it's kind of weird. I think I'm going to go home. It's yeah, it's it's time to leave. I'm going to go home. I'm going to see if Felix is still there. I love The Sims. It's been so chaotic. We've only been playing for like 20 minutes and it's so chaotic. I've peed myself in two episodes now. I really can't get over that. <laughs> I ended the last episode peeing myself and I opened this episode peeing myself. Some say it's iconic. Okay, so is Felix still here? I guess not. It's like four o'clock. Do you think we should go and set up our food stand somewhere? Oh, wait! I just saw the car hopping in the garage, Felix. I don't really want to exercise him. Oh, that's not Felix. All right, you all exercise. All right, listen, girly pop. I only have eyes for one ghost. I got paid for fixing the ghost issue. That is a play. I do want to see if I can open this up, unpack, see if I can put it with my other meals that I'm going to sell. Put it in the fridge. Wait. Where's all my food? I had so much food in here earlier. What? Where did all my food go? How do we have $3,000? Wait, is it for my new job? Mop wives. I'm so confused. My fridge is empty. I have a lot of money. And I guess I'll just cook. What if I cook a grand meal? 
because I don't understand where all my food went, and I also don't really understand how I have $3,000. I'm gonna have to check back the recording and see where that came from, because I'm so confused. My supportive ghost man, he's supporting me. <gasps> Should we go? I I'm cooking, I'm like, I hope this doesn't burn down my apartment. <laughs> But I, I did say I wanted to focus on finding a partner in this episode. I've never been to the Spice Festival, so this will be a first. Is that Judith? I have your picture over my fridge. Damn. Who dressed her? Wait. You saw that. I don't even know what that is. My man and my woman. Let's just spend time with Felix. Why don't we give him a heartfelt compliment and then go eat some spicy food together? Ooh, is this another celebrity? A proper celebrity. Ooh, look at the little merch. That's cute. I'm not gonna haggle because I also work a food stand, so I know what this is like. I'm gonna go with the cheap thing and just get taquitos. Felix plays the violin, and I ride an old bike. Felix, come with me. Felix is playing basketball. Love that for him. Did I get my taquitos? Oh my god, me and Judith Ward are best friends. Period. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. Oh good, we should definitely eat a lot of food here and maybe we can like learn some new stuff. Let's get this. Ooh, it actually looks pretty good. Oh, it's a little hot. I would like to talk with Judith and also Felix. I don't know, should we just talk about hobbies and skills? What can he do? Like, I don't think he has a career currently. I just didn't think a ghost was working. Yeah, he's unemployed. <laughs> Do you think he has any money? I feel like a ghost may not. Oh, we're really tired. I mean, this was fun. Maybe we should just try one more food. These are all vegetarian safe and lactose free, which would be good for us. I feel like the curry would be a fun one to learn. So maybe we'll just try that. I'm gonna bring down her hunger. I don't want her like overeating. We don't need her like shitting herself in public anymore. Oh, we ordered the same thing. Hey, geez. <laughs> Right on top of me. Maybe we'll just get like a cool little souvenir thing and then call it a night because today was kind of rough. Should we get any of these bubbles? I really want bubbles. Maybe we'll start like a little snow globe collection. We'll get some spices and wasabi. Yeah, we'll get some of this stuff because we're a chef, right? We'll get a t-shirt. Let's go home. I don't know what to think about Felix now. I'm very mixed feelings on him. So maybe we shouldn't just jump into a relationship with like the first person that we'd like right away. Maybe we'll like look around a little more. Oh, the shirt is cute. Do you want to just look in the dumpster like one more time? Special dye. Okay. Oh, $78? There's good stuff in here. Another bike. All right, we're going to start selling these bikes. <laughs> He's got to shower like right away and then we'll go to bed and maybe tomorrow we'll just make some more food be a little more low-key try to sell some food meet new people oh wait i think we also start our new job tomorrow maybe we can't sell food 8 p.m to 2 a.m okay so we can sell during the day and then be a criminal at night <laughs> she's had a long day a lot has happened <laughs> What's our relationship with, like, Judith? We don't even have much of a friendship. There's, like, two festivals today. What am I supposed to do? What if I go to one of these festivals with my table? Do you think that'd be good? I like the idea of the snow sculpture festival because people are going to get cold and want to eat. Obviously, people will want, like, hot food because this is, like, a snowy event. Grilled cheese sounds really good to me, so maybe we'll do that. All right, you better not eat this grilled cheese ever. Like, if I see you eating it, I'm... Oh, we changed to level four. Okay, put that away. Do not touch it. I have high hopes. I think we're going to do really well today. Maybe we'll cook some pho because it's a hot soup and it's also spicy, so double the hot. Something in the kitchen smells though, and I don't know what it is. If it's the fridge, normal quality pho. How is it 7 p.m. already? What time did we wake up? <laughs> All right, we'll go to the snow thing just for a little while. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't look at the time. I'll put him there and I'm going to put my new snow globe over here and we will start like a little collection. That looks so nice. Let's go to the snow festival. We'll sell for just a little while. Let's see what we can do. I don't know. I don't know. Like how long did it take to cook? I Wasn't it like morning? Is this the festival? I mean, this is like my favorite guy, this little mascot. I'm just gonna like set up my thing right here, right in the middle. I can't help but want to do the mountain move with the mascot because look at him. He is so precious. 
Ah! <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, okay. Let's go and set up our little table. I canceled going to work. We can't miss our first day. Go to work. Oh, okay. It's a rabbit hole. Look at my outfit. <laughs> I'm a mob wife. All right, how do we do? Two under 10. Between our home chef hustle and our crime lord job, I think we're gonna be okay. And soon we could buy a starter home. I think since we're home and in an okay mood, we should cook one more thing and then try to go somewhere tomorrow and sell. I am probably mispronouncing this, but Halo Halo? Or is it like Hello Hello? I saw rainbow and I got excited. <laughs> a little rainbow all in a single dish. That sounds really interesting. So I would like to try cooking that. I feel like in The Sims 3, you had to go to the grocery store to buy the ingredients to cook meals and then... Bitch, no! No! How does she keep doing this? I don't even want to take the blame for this, but I know that I did say that we were going to cook lactose-free meals because she's lactose intolerant, and I really need to stick to that because we're making ourselves sick every time. All right, resume cooking, and do not take a grilled cheese break ever again. Don't eat it. I want to make interesting foods, like lactose-free. Yes, let's stop being stupid. Should we make dumplings? I would like dumplings right now in real life, so let's make dumplings. You think you're the shit? You ain't even a fart. Now, what was that doing in the garbage? <laughs> Did she just throw out the meal that we were trying to make? Oh my, she really is testing my patience. Do you want to resume the dumplings? Ooh, the dumplings look good. Don't touch them. Let's also make some taquitos. Is that how you make taquitos? Ah, she wants them right away. All right, I'll let her eat the one. One serving. She has been cooking. Wait, you better not put them somewhere stupid. <laughs> you... I'm going to put all of our food in the inventory so that we can go and sell it. And I'm going to upgrade the fridge. I think that's where all the smell is coming from. This is what we had. I guess we'll do this because we want good quality food, right? So at least that's like an upgrade. Do we have enough money to upgrade the stove to the better one? I mean, we could do that. It's not that much. Because then maybe the food will also come out better. I'm aware of the time today. It's only 9 a.m. I'm doing really well. <laughs> what if we sold in like what I would call like the downtown area of Willow Creek where we have like public lots where people might go? I feel like I remember the outside of those buildings sometimes having a lot of people. So I'm thinking maybe we could try that. There's one competitor here, but she sells... What, like pretzels, drinks? I didn't know you could have that. But what if I just like set up like right here? Would that be weird? I'm just putting all of my food for sale out here. <laughs> Did I sell the water? And we're gonna start food sale. Let's go. See, there's cars. Do you want to come to my food sale? Interesting eyeliner, but I like her sweater. Hi. Don't walk past me. Wait, I see some people. <gasps> A customer. Yeah. Oh, this that spooky guy. He's kind of attractive. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Are either of you single? Oh my god, it's Bella Goth. Give sales pitch. I love Willow Creek. Oh my god, her husband too. Festival of Youth. I'm gonna go there. Once this food stand ends, I'm going to the Festival of Youth. I'm gonna sell food to my favorite mascot. Hey, you're the girl who blew fire in my face yesterday. Oh my god. Legend. Eliza Pancakes. This is someone you want at your food stand. And Travis Scott. <laughs> I can't believe that there's a cheese-haired man in this game named Travis Scott. It's so funny. Oh, thanks, girl. I think I'm doing pretty well. I feel like I hear the cha-ching a lot. This girl's kind of pretty, like, aside from the eyeliner. I figured I'd just introduce myself. To Why do they come behind the stand to eat their food? That's kind of strange if we can get back up to like 3,000 simoleons i'll be happy um hey girl i think you know me food sales over that's do you want to talk about cooking i would just like to like raise my friendship a little and then i'm gonna go she doesn't like the color white then why are you wearing it um i would just like to be your friend and maybe something else i gotta weigh my options i haven't talked to felix today all right i'm gonna pack up the table and head over to the what was it the festival of light or the kids festival whatever what if i brought judith with me 
Anyway, uh, I really want to go to this one strictly for the mascot guy because I love him. He's so cute. So I do a lot of crochet and clay, and now I'm thinking that I should make a figure of the mascot that I'm so obsessed with. Like, he's even looking at himself. Like, I could literally make this out of clay. I love him. Just... Anyway. Okay, so Judith is probably not liking that I brought her here. <laughs> I'm gonna set up my stand right over here. Oh, I think the sun's coming out. Okay, that's good. Yamachan, would you like to buy some food, perhaps? Oh, I didn't even look. How did we do it in the last food sale? Whoa, we made 264 simoleons. Can I sell the water? I'm gonna sell my water. Start food sale. Judy, can you come over here? I think it looks really good for her character that she is helping a local artisan. Give sales pitch, give sales pitch. When you wake up, um, give sales pitch. <laughs> Look at it. We got water. Oh, she bought something, this woman. Hi. Um, why did you come behind the sales table? Bob pancakes? Bob! Can I convince Yamachan to buy anything? No, I can't. Come here, child. Do you have money? Can <laughs> convince him to buy the water? The festival will end in an hour. I really want to make Yamachan out of clay. <laughs> then I can keep it on my desk. <gasps> Yamachan! Where are you going? No! I guess because the festival is over. Buy something. I'm about to close. Alright, we didn't make as much, but we did have less food too. How did we sell two waters when I literally just had a cup? Alright, we can take a selfie with the statue at least. We're gonna get some sushi. I think we earned it. We are very close to 3,000, so not bad. And we can still sell some of those things from the inventory that we found in the dumpster. So once we go home, we'll do that. We did not achieve our goal of finding a partner, but we did have some flirtation, at least. Maybe I'll just go back home and invite Felix over. Or should I invite Judith over? I don't know. I don't really think she likes me because I've met her now like three times and she's just hard. Okay. Hard to reach, you know? We had a lot of flirtation going on today. We had Felix and Clara trying to flirt. Let me put back whatever food we have. I like this red bike, but she seems to favor the green one. So I'm going to sell that. And that takes us to 3,000. So it's kind of late, but like, what if we invite Felix over just to see? Can I not invite a ghost over? I was gonna say, let's invite him over and see if, uh, you know, maybe we can make things work with him, but I don't think I can invite him over. Girl, you don't need a nap. We're going out, and we're gonna go try to meet someone new. I thought maybe there would be, like, more singles here or something, but it's literally... <laughs> oh. No. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. Why don't we go to the karaoke bar? Alright, let's see if there's anyone here that we could... The Sims just love their accessories. Okay, there's really, like, nobody here either, but we could try to talk to Penny. Accessories girl is kind of, like, scaring me. I guess we'll talk to her. Wait, she's cool looking. Sorry, Penny, but I am trying to expand my horizons. What if I flirt with her? Why don't we go a little closer so we look like we're actually talking to you and not this guy? Oh my god, can he stop following us? Pick up line. I don't want to be, like, too forward, but... I want an outfit. I do like her outfit. Can this guy get out of here? <gasps> they both left? Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> no. The bar emptied out. Just these two people. And they're leaving. They're like, I'm tired. <laughs> Zabale. Zab Zabale. This is not a time for us to meet a partner, perhaps. We are a businesswoman, maybe. This night was kind of a flop. Like, I don't know. I guess I just have to hope that Felix comes back to haunt the house, because I don't know how to get in contact with him otherwise. I'm just gonna go admire my photo of Judy. Alright, she wants to go play basketball. I'll let her do that. I feel like she's had a rough day. She just spent 115 on cross-stitch. No. What can I do with it? Can I hang it on the wall? I'll keep it for now. What if our last thing that we try 
is to invite Judith over to the house <laughs> and see if we can get to know her a little more and see if there's a possibility of something there. Wait, I just realized I'm inviting Judith Ward over to this place. I think I look cute in my little workout outfit, so maybe she'll be impressed. Here she comes. Hey, why is she going right into my bathroom? Well, she really is vain because every time she enters a room, she looks for the mirror. So maybe we should compliment her. Right now, I'm really trying with Judith. If this flops, then I'm done. <laughs> we'll meet someone new. Does she just like not like me? Enthuse about meal. You probably ate this at our food stand, maybe, because I thought she bought something. <gasps> Judith is flirting. Judith is flirting with me. All right, we got to make a move. It worked. She felt the mood. She knows what's up. She's throwing out my dish. I will say all of my romantic interests have been cleaning, and that's, that's impressive. <gasps> I know you did not just start a new cross-stitch thing. Stop it. I'm putting that away. She's never touching it again. You have company. Literally a famous person. She's looking at the picture that's over the sink of her. Maybe that was weird. Oh no. Or maybe she likes it. Do you want a cloud gaze? I don't know. I think that actually does increase your friendship a little bit. So let's go right here in the street. I don't know. It's a little romantic. It's working and it's bringing our friendship level up. Okay. Flirt. Oh no. I'm stinky. <gasps> Oh, she likes it. She likes it. Talk about dreams. We have a romance bar. Okay. Uh, exchange numbers. Ooh. Confess attraction. <gasps> That's risky. Oh my god, we have matching phones. Girlfriends? <gasps> she called me trash. Oh, she's mean. Well, she kind of liked it. Listen, she's mean, but whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, she's single. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Ask for a hug. That's like kind of weird. I don't have a hug. Okay. Well, we made progress. It's very little, but we made progress. This girl is all about her cross stitch. Wait, do you see that? The snow globe has lightning. That's so cool. Oh my god. Does the other one do anything? Oh, it has little hearts. That's really cute. You know what? Yeah, let's go. Would it be, like, wrong? Autonomously, she had a negative response to Clara's flirting, but I love drama in The Sims, and she has a whole family. Would that be wrong? In The Sims, no. In real life, yeah, I don't condone this. Oh, but she's pregnant. Uh, wow, she's, like, showing it today. Can I feel it? <laughs> I mean, I think we're friends. Oh, I think she stopped. Oh! <laughs> yep. Feels like a baby. The Gen Z Kimball. It really sounded like she said Gen Z in that. Did you hear that? Why is her husband here? <gasps> she got dressed for work and was suddenly not pregnant. Okay, I just want to go home and see how much food we have left. If we should do a little sale really quick and then call it a day. Let me just do my daily task of admiring Judith Ward. And we're going to go to the park in Willow Creek and set up our food stand. I don't think I have that much left, but I would just like to sell what I have. We sold to the werewolf guy, and he's very hungry. Honestly, these are the same people that bought from me yesterday, but that's okay. I'll have a little, like, fan base. Oh, look, it's Travis Scott. Wow, he's... Wow. We have a lot of people here. Hello? Am I famous? What is this? Who's the celebrity? Oh, it's Dirk. I didn't even realize. I guess that's good. We have a celebrity at our food stand. Did I sell everything? Um, someone just walked through the stand. Nothing is stocked. Yeah, we're sold out. All right, so we're gonna end it early. Whoa, our biggest sale yet. We made 324 simoleons. That Hello Hello really sold a lot. That was a sleigh. Let's go home. I'm shocked. I can't believe we sold everything, finally, and now we have like no food in our own fridge, so I guess we'll just cook something for ourselves really quick. I got a little scared. How do we have a pretty good cooking skill level now, and we're still doing that? We're level four, five. Well, anyway, I was gonna say, what if we invite Judith over one more time and we give her this daisy that we caught in the last episode? Maybe that'll seal the deal and we can go from there and see what we can do.
She is sleeping. <laughs> All right, maybe we won't do that. Maybe I'll save that for next episode and I'll give it to the one that I really am going to pursue. And on that note, I think we're going to call it a day. Wait, insect infestation. I'm going to save that for my future self, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video and I'm really enjoying doing this series. I think what we should focus on next week is definitely getting a partner and also saving up more and more money to move out of the apartment because it looks like our lease is going to be up or something. So all right, I'm going to go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to check out future videos. Clearly, it's always something in The Sims, but starting the day off right away with a ghost invasion or whatever is pretty crazy. So I think it's going to get more interesting. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.